Yesterday, New Jersey State epidemiologist Dr. Christina Tan was asked about um, the bell curve of the virus, um, where we are on the bell curve. She's going to get asked again, but no, yet, right? I like her answer. Um, yeah, right now, we're actively trying to monitor uh, you know, the cases, trying to get an intake on the cases. We know nationally, we're seeing the case count rise. So it's like we say for influenza, it's unpredictable at this point. So we'll just have to continue monitoring. Again, that's an excellent question. And um, to your point about the concept of mitigation and the concept of what, what you're referring to as an epi curve, it's a bell curve, right? And usually for outbreaks, you tend to see a peak and then there's a deceleration of the cases. And what we try to do with um, containment efforts and with mitigation in particular as we're um, dealing with um, these uh, if we see larger scale um, uh, community spread. So we want to flatten that curve and then prolong that. And um, the CDC website has some excellent information and guidance related, again, all to these uh, community mitigation. And if you're interested in looking more at the, uh, the modeling and the science, um, it's, it's outlined there really nicely about how to flatten that, that, that curve. Okay. So she talks about the framework and the modeling. Um, I just want to share with you what some of this uh, modeling is. So there's an assessment for um, the severity of the pandemic. And I don't think this is appropriate to use here. I really don't. Um, it basically comes down to four steps. Um, maybe this is what she's referring to. I don't think that it is. I think what she is referring to is more than likely the pandemic intervals framework which is written for the influenza because that is probably the most common pandemic epidemic that the CDC deals with on an annual basis. But the six steps determine the actions you should take. So we are definitely beyond investigation and recognition that was handled for us by other countries. Um, more than likely, we are at um, initiation uh, that's the interval where there's a sustained manner of person to person spread. And obviously like that's limited by testing right now because we can't test where we don't test a bunch of people. Um, and I really think that we are crossing from the initiation wave to the acceleration wave. It's the speeding up of the epide epidemiological curve, which was the question that was asked. And right now, I do think it is time for non-pharmaceutical interventions and things that we can do. Because in absence of a vaccine or other medications or hospitals being able to um, care for as many people as going to get to them, we have to try to reduce the peak of this disease and stretch out the amount of time that people have this so that um, instead of it being one big wave that hits two to four weeks from now, that two to four week wave is spread out over maybe six to eight weeks or hopefully even longer.